As Clinton celebrates her victory, it wasn't the best night in South Carolina for Senator Bernie Sanders. Not only did he end up losing the primary, it was much worse than he had been polling for. News 2's Raymond Owens has more. In Rochester, Minnesota, Sanders said his campaign is about more than electing a president. It is about transforming America. It is about thinking big and the kind of country we want to become. He says his is a message of true democracy. But what democracy is not about is a handful of billionaires buying elections. Now, what this, what this campaign is about, and it's not easy, is trying to force discussion on issues that Congress chooses not to talk about and media chooses not to talk about. At a Sanders watch party at the Poor House on James Island, I talked to his supporters. I was knocking on doors today, and I think just, just a lot of people are not participating. But when people participate, I think he's, he's saying things that people like. And the whole political revolution that Bernie's talking about is just that. We, the people, have to stand up and make a difference and vote these characters out of here that want to obstruct everything and get nothing done. Obama, I love Obama, but he didn't get a whole lot done, aside from Obamacare. At the event in Rochester, Sanders went on to talk about some of his campaign promises, including increasing Social Security and raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Well, we are getting a look at voter turnout for this year's primary. Compared to 2008, voter turnout was low. About 530,000 people went to the polls back then, and this year there were just a little more than 368,000 ballots cast. According to the Associated Press, Clinton received about 74% of the votes, while Sanders only received 26%. Last week in the South Carolina GOP primary, more than 740,000 voters cast their ballots.